Hi everybody, Rita here with Bloom Stitch. Happy Sunday to you guys and uh, welcome to my channel. As I promised, we are doing part three of uh, Let's Make an Envelope Folio Journal. This part is the reveal. I have completed my two Christmas folio envelope folio journals and my one kitties and doggies one. So yes, um, I want to share with you what they look like. So let's start with this beauty right here. Comes in this um, quilted pouch that I have created with this vintage scent on here. And you can hear the jingly on it. The uh, sizes are in, the, uh, in my listing for both the quilted pouch and the uh, journal itself. The journal, it's, it's fully embellished. It's a flip out, it just flips every which way. It has a vintage theme and lots of, lots of stuff in here. So the basic construction, you can view that in the uh, um, video that says the base. So I'm not gonna go into that, but this is the final, final product here. So let's start in the middle. Now I'm not gonna be taking out stuff in the pockets because there's just it would just take too long to do that. But every pocket, every envelope has something in it. But I did want to show you this. This is the vintage. It's 1957 actual uh, photo greeting card with the message on the back the greeting so you can read that it's a from a family family greeting and then there's this side beautiful angel so we close that and then this one is a little hidden picture in here <laughs> you have to open it fully there's a Santa in there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open it completely you're welcome to discover it behind these embossed, it's an embossed uh, little door here in the middle. Maybe I can tie this back up. It's so tiny, this tie that came with it. Anyways, it's an embossed envelope here. And then we have an angel on this side and a little angel on this side. With the decoration you might remember this recall this from the last video it was not completed at that time but that's what it looks like now so right left here's little Santa on a piece of quilt so cute right so this is a teacup that I made I sewed together from cardstock and it made I made it into a pocket and then we go this way so it's kind of all you know an altered envelope folio journal whatever you want to call it you have this beautiful scene with the christmas tree and this is velvet and pearls and i will close it back the right way when i'm done and then on this side we have this sparkly snowflake and silent night and then we have this side right here it says Merry Christmas and then this one is a vintage wedding dress applique right here and look collage there um, let's see what I have not showed you yet this is a postcard with a sleigh I'm just kind of going every which way this one is a CD envelope that has a circle, a vintage circle Santa in it. And then decorations. And then this side. I wanted to show you this one. This is a mini angel journal in here that I stuck in there. Oh, and this one is one of my favorites. This doily pocket that I made with the coffee filter and the doily. And it's a gnome on here. Christmas gnome. I love it. And there's a kitty in here. Christmas kitty. And there's an angel with a notepad. 
And then this is the cover. I think I showed you every every side. Um, that's the back. But if I didn't, I apologize for that. But yeah, there's a lot to discover in here. A lot more than um, what I've showed you. And here is the big pouch. You know, you can use this for whatever you want, even as a jewelry case or um, for gift giving. It's a nice quilted pouch. That was set one and they are listed by the picture. And this is the second one, this little girl with the Christmas tree. And here's our second journal, envelope journal. And here is the picture. This must seem familiar because this is the picture that's on the other quilted pouch. Dangly. The other one had dangly too. I think I forgot to point it out. And pearls and a ribbon. Chunky. Oops. There we go. My strings are everywhere here. So again, I'm just not going to go in order. I'm just going to show you what comes um, to me here as they come. That's the sleigh, the journaling card, Santa, lots of layering. Um, here's that angel uh, booklet or the mini, mini journal. And then there's a pocket that, oh, I didn't put anything in it. I need to put something in it. I put something in here, but not on the top. Yes, I'll take care of that. And then here's my gnome doily pocket with the little card and kitty this is the vintage uh, wedding applique this is a dangly a snowflake dangly and here is a back of an envelope yeah that's not a pocket cute look i love this picture and then we have a little collage assembly here on this side and on this side, then we go into here, we have Christmas kitties. And oh, on this side we have a truck with a Christmas tree, vintage pickup truck, little lace, tags, lots of tags in here. Here's Santa, here's an angel, this is again a vintage wedding dress applique that I coffee dyed. Oh, I love this, love this little image such a beautiful baby and again this is part of a vintage wedding dress and we have a picture i'm not going to open this one there will be a secret it's so hard to tie it back together so but it's for you to discover what picture is in here oh i love this stamp i love this stamp big tag here and then a different um greeting card black and white photo greeting card an actual card in there so that's the second one with the pouch. And then the last one is the kitty one and the doggy, kitties and doggies together. So this is more of a shabby vintage as opposed to the other ones were darker, grungy. This has more pink in it, and but it has dark in it too. My favorite is grungy with pink. And so, yeah. Lots of lots of appliques on this one, and, and just this is what it looks like. That's the back. There's two kitties right here. Let's go into it. Oh, there's so much to discover, guys. I will let whoever gets this do the uh, discoveries, but I just wanted to point out a few things. Pearls, because we're already almost at 10 minutes. This is a CD envelope. There. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. Kitties, kitties. I love this doggy image. This girl and the doggy. Oh, it's so precious. Oh, look at this kitty. <laughs> oh my gosh, doggy. Everything is listed by picture. You will be able to see it. Folio journal, I think it's called. But um, I only have the two Christmas and this one. So... You can't miss it on my in my eBay shop. And goodies galore in here. And oh, huge appliques. There's appliques. Oh, look at those three doggies peeking out. This is some tatting. 
And then all these doggies, oh my goodness. It's a big bow on the top. And then this big kitty. Big kitty, 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 kitty. Yep. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite images in here. Beautiful. Let's go with the dog. And then I have this big pink bow on top of a grunged up huge uh, wedding dress applique here. Just gorgeous. There's a rosette here. Gorgeous, gorgeous doggies. And in the middle, I have a kitty. And again, all the pockets are filled with tags and journaling cards for you. So that's, I will have it closed the correct way. That's the kitties and doggies folio journal. That's what it will be called. And so I have that. I have that. And I have this other one. So these three are complete. What's coming up next, I'm moving on from the, fo the envelope folio journals to a white Christmas journal. I want to make a white Christmas journal, white Christmas. And, and this is how far I've gotten. I made the uh, actual uh, pouch, the big pouch that it will become, com that it will come in. So yes, it will fit in this pouch. Now this on here is a huge, again, wedding dress applique that I grunged up. And then I have this angel that I made with the, and it's sitting on a top of a sparkly snowflake and it has feathers for the wings and uh, cheesecloth and just a beautiful image. And I have sorry silk ribbons at the end. So this is a really big, really big um, pouch. And this is for my white Christmas journal, which I have not started yet, but this is how far I've got. So yes, thank you guys. Uh, any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, thank you so much and peace out.